Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall, Trinity Stamps Design Team Member. Today I'd like to share a project with you that features the Eclipse Technique. The products used in this video are Sending Hugs Die Set, Sunflower Bouquet Builder Stamp Set, and the Boiled Sugar Jelly Drop Hearts Mix. These are some flat backed hearts that are very, very pretty. A full product list is in the video description. I have snipped away the letters from the hugs in the Sending Hugs die cut and kept them together. That way they'll be nice and straight and ready for me to make pencil marks around them so that I'll have an easy guide for stamp placement. Using the large stamps from the Sunflower Bouquet Builder, I'm going to place the flowers in the area over the drawn pencil mark. Strategically, I would like to have the flowers go over and straddle two letters at a time. This is going to help with the overall look of the words it's going to bring not so much of a broken image, but make it more cohesive. I'm stamping all of these floral images with black dye ink, and I'll add them down to the image. Now to fill in some of the areas, and this is where those drawn lines really do come in handy. Guesswork did not help me create a very cohesive look to the finished project. So on my second try, I made sure that I filled in the small areas with ladybugs and the small florals in the sunflower bouquet. These two products work together very well. That's one thing that I very much like about the Trinity Stamps products is they are so interchangeable together. Now I'm going to add Copic coloring to the images that are stamped. There's not any fancy or special coloring here. I'm just taking three shades, sometimes two shades, of one particular color and then adding it down to the paper. I'm working on some heavy white cardstock. There is going to be some bleeding through to the back side, which is why I changed the work surface over to something that's not going to take the alcohol ink and make some permanent ink marks. The orange is placed in between the two colors of, in between the two petals where they overlap each other or if there's set two rows of the petals, as in the middle sunflower here, then I made sure to leave room to allow the tips of that petal to still be seen. So I'm adding the darker colors, that would be the darker oranges, at the center and the base of the flowers, and then fading it out to the lighter yellows. All of the greenery is colored with the same process and the same color combination. I started off with a light marker, then went into with a darker marker, then put my darkest marker, and then went back over with the lightest, and that helped blend everything together. I created just a little bit of shading on some of the greenery because I want it to still appear like a natural image. The ladybugs are colored with just one red marker and then one dark gray marker for the very, like the head or the top area. There's two different ways that I had an idea for filling in the background. One was to do as you see here and just fill in all of the background with blue. Or another way that occurred to me after I had already colored and die cut this area was that if I colored after I die cut the letters, then I wouldn't be filling in all of the blue part of the cardstock that's not going to be used. After taking a zero Copic blender to create highlight on the tips of the petals, then I'm placing the hugs die 
in the area that is going to be die cut and I secured it with some purple tape to make sure that it didn't jump around too much. You can see here the way that I placed it where there's overlap of one flower between two letters that's going to bring it together to look more like one image for that eclipse effect. In order to give some height and stability to all of the letters, I cut some additional pieces of cardstock and now I'm going to use liquid glue to stack them on top of one another and make sure that my colored image is at the very top. I want to use another one of the dies from the Sending Hugs die set. So I die cut, but I forgot to save the little dot of the eye. So I'll take care of that with the marker. In order to have this die cut match the coloring on the eclipse section exactly, I chose to just use one of the green markers that I used coloring the leaves. Now to place everything nice and straight. The dies were attached and that helped me get everything straight, but I needed to use some sort of a ruler to make sure that I got everything straight across the card. But in order to place the letters between each other, I'm first securing the last letter and then the first letter, making sure those two are straight and then it, it's really easy for me to take the letters that are in between and they'll be perfectly spaced. I got them a little close together than what the dies were and that's in order to get that look between the H and the U where the same flower straddles and then the U and the G and the G and the S. This was one way that I felt that it was very important to make sure that it looked like one scene. Sending hugs is a wonderful way to send a card to somebody and I thought this was a little piece of sunshine that I could send to a friend. It's a winter day here where I live and sending some sunshine is just something that I, I feel it makes me feel good. I like to see some sunshine too. I'm adding some Wink of Stella over the letters and that's going to give a little bit of sparkle. Now for those boiled sugar jelly drops. They're epoxy hearts that are flat on the back and you can adhere them in any way. They come in like three, maybe more sizes, some on the larger sides and some on the really small side. And I very much liked putting them in this project. To adhere them to the card base, I'm using a jewel picker from Marvy that will be available soon in the Trinity store. Trinity carries a number of tools that are not branded by Trinity but are useful in card making and in crafting. If you haven't checked out that the Trinity tools section of the Trinity shop then you might find something that is going to be your next favorite item. So I'd suggest checking that out. And here's a look at the finished card. As an alternate I thought it would be interesting to show what it would look like on an ink blended card base and space the letters a little further apart. I hope you enjoyed this process. Don't forget to go to Facebook and Instagram for more design team inspiration from Trinity Stamps.